You have the best intentions of getting your business running smooth and planning everything in SOPs and doing the things and productivity and task management and all the things. And then your team is like, nope, not having it, not doing that. We'll be talking today how you can get your team on board with your new ClickUp setup. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Heimann with AskEV.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And if you are ready to streamline your business, to skyrocket your sales, you are perfectly fine here because that's my goal. Streamlining your business, running it lean and mean, and maybe even getting your team on board. So if you are a digital entrepreneur ready to scale your business, go hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video or go live. Now, let's dive into this issue of bringing your team on board. It doesn't matter how nerdy people, I, l I love to test new tools. I am nerdy in everything and I love figuring out how things work and make them work and fixing them and doing and all of that. But even I need to decide where I put my time, when I do what, and which of those tools I really focus on. Now, when you're running a team, not everybody is gonna be a nerd in there. Not everybody is gonna be all up in your productivity and wanting this and excited for change. So today I wanted to dive into my five tips to help you get your team on board with your new ClickUp setup and get them excited about it too. And there's tip number one, get your team involved. Don't be the whole dictator and be like, this is how we're gonna do it. No, yes. Somebody needs to have the saying. Somebody needs to decide what the best approach is for everybody in the big picture. But don't just be the dictator and say, this is how we're gonna do it and you better do it that way. No, you have different personalities. You have different ways of working in your company. So talk to your team. What do they want? What are they hoping? What are they struggling with right now? What do they love right now? Even if you do not use ClickUp yet, have that conversation with them on where do they have issues? They are running your business every single day. They're in it. Where is the bottleneck? They often know better than we do. Ever heard that whole impression of the nurse is a better doctor simply because they are with the patient every single time rather than just looking at a board and telling you what the numbers are saying? Same thing here. Bring your team into this process. Stay boss, make the final decisions, and give solutions, which we will talk in just a little bit, but bring them into that process. Tip number two, which follows up straight up with talk to your team. Assess where they are. And you get to see how to actually do this really easy because I'm doing this with all of my clients. When they start with me and they have been working in ClickUp, we assess how they feel in ClickUp. And then throughout the process of working with them every quarter or every month or after a big push with new features and new setups, that's when we run those assessments. So let me show you how we do that. As you can see, we start with a ClickUp form right in here. Always ask for the name, company title and role and which knowledge level you think you're in. And then it is really just the ratings custom field in here with all kinds of different questions. How do they feel about integrations or navigation or productivity in here? So I have a few questions in here that kind of drills down to how they feel in certain areas of ClickUp and how comfortable they think they are in there, as well as what are they struggling with and what do they love about? As you can see in the setup right here, I have this setup for my clients in a regular client template with the assessment, the to-do, the training, the calls. In this case, I want this assessment form to go straight up only into the assessment list, which means this form is housed in the assessment list, nowhere else. And once they submit this, this is how this is going to look like. As you can see, you see the user level, you see their different ratings, how they feel about it, but also the more of the team submit to this, we're gonna get an average down here 
that tells us the company level of comfort in those specific areas. Now, another thing I did in here too, again, I have four different lists in those folders, but I also duplicated that right up in here in our views. The only reason why I need to go into the assessment list is because it's connected to the list. I cannot add it here on folder level. Click up if you hear me linking those, but I know you're working on forms, so we'll get there. Which actually leads me into tip number three. As I mentioned, your team, there is going to be nerds, there's going to be non-nerds, there's going to be artistic people, there's going to be more of the logical people. People think different, people act different, people work different. We are all different. And this is one of the major reasons why I love ClickUp. Build custom views, use the filters. Somebody doesn't wanna use the list how you have it sorted. They just really want to drill in and only focus on their stuff. First of all, introduce them to the meme out. Click the me button. You're not gonna see anything else except for when you are assigned to it. But also build custom views. And I got a video on that for you right up here. Go watch it. There are so many different ways where you can sort, filter, arrange, and do things to really build a view that's specific to the team member. And it doesn't even have to be company-wide. They are member in there. It can just be a view for them. Then we have tip number four, which comes straight out of this assessment. Train your team. Don't just be like here, go eat or die. You are not helping your team. And do not assume they know everything. Even if you are a tech nerd and you are working in something like ClickUp, like me for the last two years, there's still things I don't know how they work, implement whatever best, or ClickUp just updated something again. Not that they ever do that, right? So with that, we have a specific training list for my clients with the basics. This is really just 101. This is just the basics where they're getting introduced to ClickUp, the navigation, the views and the integration, the productivity, the project management, and some training tasks for the multi-tool ball. You can take that to the next level. This is, this is basic. This is beginner level. Just get a feeling of ClickUp. Now take this idea and take this structure, make it your own in your business and add business specific trainings to this too. Keep these nice and short. I don't have all of the custom fields showing in here, but when you go into the training list, there is way more information. And as you can see, you can easily duplicate this list, assign each of those lists to your team member where it's like Lisa training or Kitty training or Jen training or whatever. You have each team member with their training list in their team on board. There's so many different ways how you can introduce this to your team. Assign your team to that. Use the time estimate feature. Let them know how long this video is gonna be. How long are they gonna be sitting here to know what the hell you're talking about? Add the training link for the video and go with it. There you go. Give them the tools and the knowledge they need to work efficiently. Don't just, again, be like the whole eat or die. Help them, help them understand. Which then also leads into tip number five. Standard operating procedures. Guilty. Guilty. So let's make a pact. 2021, we are cleaning up our standard operating procedures. We are getting this stuff cleaned up and we are giving our team the freedom to update them. There is nothing worse, again, coming back to, I was just talking about that, right? Don't be the asshole and force them to do something. There is different ways of doing things. So if you have a social media manager in your company and he says, you know what? I don't like that way. I like that way better. Give them the freedom to adapt it, but also give them the knowledge to get the job done. So let's round these five things up. Make your team part of this process. Talk with them, get feedback, check where the bottlenecks are. What are they struggling with? Assessment, assess where your team is. Use the form. And by the way, you might be able to find it in the academy here soon. So keep an eye out over there. Train them, give them the tools to know how to do what. SOPs, standard operating procedures, those go hand in hand. And last but not least, really make use of the custom views. Let them build this tool in a way that makes most sense for them 
and makes them the most productive. Made it this far. Subscribed yet? If not, what are you waiting for? Go hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I drop some more knowledge bombs. I'll see you soon.